Hello everyone. Welcome to Python Paradise. Today I will teach you how to input in PipeNet Space Sprinkler module. So at first click on new and select Space Sprinkler. Okay. Now I should tell you Space Sprinkler module is generally used for firefighting uh, layout. And uh, for that there are several codes like NPFA, TSC and I am not going into the details for the uh, codes. You can always check out the codes. But the main uh, difference uh, of uh, PipeNet Space Sprinkler from the basic is we have to uh, specify the nozzles here because the nozzles are the spray or sprinkler and uh, for that we have to specify that nozzle and also there are some differences in the modules so let's first check out the module options and you can select your design rule I am going with the default and here is Darcy or Hagen Williams so uh, please uh, be careful when you choose Darcy you have to specify the pipe absolute roughness which is uh, for a carbon pipe 0.045 and for a Hagen Williams calculation you have to put a C factor which is generally 100, 120 or 150 and uh, I am uh, everything is by, by default and let's go to the calculation and here the calculation type you can select remote, remote nozzle or user defined or nozzle flow rate. Now I am going with the user defined and again I shall show you uh, what would be the difference if I select most remote nozzle. So let's see ok and uh, all other basic inputs are more or less as same as the Python uh, standard module you can reach out my previous videos if you want to know how to do that. So let's create a pipe type click on new and just uh, go with uh, SMEB 36.10 schedule 40 and apply ok here as I select the Hagen Williams I have to mention a C factor so let's uh, C factor 120 and there is a material you can uh, select none or from the drop down menu apply and ok now click here pipe and just root something pipe here and now we have to uh, specify the uh, sprayer so for that click on library and go to nozzles and the nozzle schedules and the specification you will get from the process but I am showing you just a basic sample just nozzle 1 and let's k factor be 50 and the minimum pressure sorry uh, we have to change the unit so let's go to option unit and uh, user ok pressure I want kg per centimeter square gauge and the flow rate volumetric flow rate I want in a liter uh, I want in liter per minute because it is mostly used for the firefighting system let's apply and ok and again go to the library and nozzle and just click on new provide a nozzle name i am providing nozzle 1 and k factor be 50 minimum pressure would be like 1.4 and uh, maximum pressure let 3.5 and the spray divergence angle let it be 0 or if there is any angle you can put it there and let us apply ok and now here are our pipes let us some pipes just I am drawing some pipes and for to input sprayer click on here this uh, nozzle option and just drag it from here and drag it from here like that and you can always resemble your actual layout I am just uh, creating a sample so I am not uh, focusing on details and the layout is clear now okay. and now let's select and we have to uh, define the pipes as we do earlier so let's just use uh, sorry let's unit and the diameter be in mm and the length be meter apply ok so now the diameter let's select uh, 100 and the length 10 and this is diameter 100 length 
5 elevation also be 5 and these are all let 5 mm each okay let us 5 let us and you can notice that whenever the pipe is fully defined it's turned into black so like this so you can trace what pipe segment is defined or not i am just basic input 10 and length be 5 and elevation be let it be 3 and this is the last pipe segment 105 and for the nozzle selection uh, just click on the nozzle type and as I define only one nozzle here it is showing nozzle 1 and if you define as several other nozzles so you have to select from the drop down and flow rate or area you can select I am selecting flow rate or you can select area I mean uh, how much area uh, on how much area the sprayer will work and for the required flow rate let us use 120 just and these things we already defined in our library so it is automatically got selected and so this is on nozzle and if this nozzle on or off you can always select on or off and let's define the other nozzle one flow rate let it 120 and it should be nozzle one flow rate 120 it is also nozzle type nozzle one 120 nozzle nozzle one flow rate and 120 and now we have to mention the input node so it is our input node and remember the sprayers are already defined so we have to uh, uh, give boundary conditions as much as inputs are there here here is only one input so we have to specify only one condition so let's select the node and made it input node okay and analysis specification yes and the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 23, 1, 500, let's us flow 600. Okay. Now, let's run the calculation. And you can drop down. 5 velocity flow. Velocities are already shown in here. Let's click on the nozzle. Now, if I click on the nozzle, you can check that it is the calculated pressure it is the required flow and it is for calculated flow so the deviation is already been calculated and this is the graph i mean we just specify the maximum operating pressure 3.5 but the uh, actual calculated pressure is 5.88 so the operating point is beyond the uh, operating range specified so you have to select the proper layout and the proper flow rate to get uh, your operating point uh, you, i mean duty point into the operating range and i am not i am not going into that deep i am just showing you how to do that you can always engineering by yourself and so all of the nozzles are similar and if you select this nozzle you can see that the required flow is 120 and the calculated flow 118.1 so the deviation would be negative and you can select this node and the pressure is already been calculated here and it is the thing more or less and the layout uh, i mean of course the layout in actual case is uh, much more complicated so you have to take care of all of the things minutely uh, and let's just go to our module option and as i told you let's uh, select most remote nozzle and apply and ok now if i run the calculation it is showing that the network is over specified because in that case we should not provide any flow rate the flow rate would be calculated by the software so let's delete and let's run and now you can see the calculation is complete and again run okay and 
the new flow rate is 609.4 and pressure is 6.61 again you can select the uh, sprayers and you can find your duty point like this way and so this is basically how to calculate uh, I mean uh, your sprayer duty point and the input pressure flow rate with the help of pipe and spray sprinkler module. And, uh, another thing is you can uh, select a pump uh, based on uh, the parameters you have and the procedure is uh, exactly same as I told you for the standard module. So please check out my standard module basic inputs for how to input pumps and there is an another option uh, which is uh, auto layout actually by the auto layout you can make your layout you can get your layout automatically been created by the software based on your equipment uh, so there are several inputs i will show you in my next video so please uh, like and subscribe if you like and like my video and support my channel that's it thank you guys